Hi there, my name is Paul DiCarlo and I'm here to talk to you all about the latest IoT Edge GA support that's been announced for Azure IoT Central. And I'm going to do this by showcasing a quick demo running on the Jetson Xavier NX Developer Kit. This is the latest device from NVIDIA in their NVIDIA Jetson line of embedded devices. Now, you'll see I've got a device that's registered here within Azure IoT Central, and I'm able to perform some telemetry. And this is coming off of four input camera streams that are pulling in and running a live object detector. And you'll see this currently can detect people and vehicles just fine, but it's not detecting my little friend down here, my pet kitty. So what I'd like to do, let's go ahead and update the model that's currently running on my device. Now, to do this, I'm first going to show you what's actually running here. If you're familiar with Azure IoT Edge, I've specified a deployment that has a number of different modules running here. And one of those is the DeepStream SDK, which is performing that intelligent video application pipeline that's pulling in those video streams and performing object detection. I'm also running something here called the camera tagging module. And if I click into here, you'll see that I can easily come in here, capture images, and then upload those in the custom vision or blob storage for archival purposes. Now, utilizing Microsoft Custom Vision, I've already uploaded a training set. In fact, my original model used a number of images of people and also vehicles. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do, let's click over here on the Performance tab. I'm going to export the latest model that I've created, and I'm going to do this in the Onyx format. I'm going to go ahead and select here and copy that. And what's great about this is I've added some new images into my model. So now it can detect the family cat and the family dog. So what I'm going to do is head on over here and select the Manage tab. And this is going to allow me to change device twin properties on my device utilizing the simple features and functionality within Azure IoT Central. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in that URL and watch what happens when I do this. The module that's running pulls down that zip file, extracts it, and then starts to employ into production by restarting the DeepStream workload that was running utilizing that new model. Now I only need to change one more thing here. I want to start seeing the cat instead of the car. So I'm going to go ahead and update that here. And now any detections that are seen by DeepStream, if they're a person or a cat, those are now going to show up in my dashboard. So let's go ahead and see how well that's worked out. So as you can see, we're now able to detect the cat with some degree of accuracy utilizing our newly deployed object detection model that was deployed using the Azure IoT Edge features that are now available in Azure IoT Central. Now, if you're wondering, how can I create something like this for myself? We have detailed reproduction instructions available online at aka.ms slash IoT Edge on Central Workshop. And this is a video that'll walk you through how to create a very, very similar application that'll show you how to take advantage of the new Azure IoT Edge support within Azure IoT Central. Hope you enjoyed this demo, and I really hope that you enjoy the rest of the build. Have a nice day.